Ladies and gentlemen, I am very excited about today's video because we're just opening a bunch of stuff. Over like the last week or so, every time I've gone to Target or Walmart, I've just glanced at the card section, and every time I've seen something that I thought was cool, unique, or good, I grabbed it. I do want to say that this video I might just do throughout a couple days, like a box here, a box there, so if my tone changes or my outfit changes, that explains it. And also, I'm probably going to be talking a little bit more casually when I record on this because the mic is very sensitive, so I uh, don't think I'm going full-blown ASMR or anything, but I gotta figure out the happy medium here. Real quick before we start the video, we got my plug, so don't forget to use code Wyatt's World on G Fuel or Prize Picks. G Fuel, you'll save yourself a discount on any G Fuel products, and Prize Picks, you'll match up to $100 of your first deposit. But always remember, play responsibly, and let's get into the video. All right, guys, so here we are in my setup, and we're literally just sitting 180 degrees from where I normally do. I mean, I have to take advantage of the ring light because the lighting in this room is garbage. Anyway, we have five different things that we're gonna open and running through them from cheapest to most expensive. First item is a Donruss value pack. Obviously, we're gonna be chasing Wemby here and whoever else is good, but specifically Wemby, this was $7. Then we are gonna be opening four Prism booster packs. This was $24 and uh, usually I get shafted on these, so I'm not expecting anything, honestly. I don't even know why I got it, just because it's rare. And it's not even rare, just people normally scalp these so much that you can't even get them. After that, at $26, we got a box of Donruss Elite WWE trading cards. Honestly, expecting nothing out of this, but like I said, cool, unique. I, I said I would try wrestling cards eventually, so here we go. Then we've actually got Pokemon, just a booster bundle. It's six packs, Temporal Forces. I actually just love this set, so it kind of got me back into it, and uh, yeah, I saved it for this video. This was like 28 after taxes. And then the last item in the video will be the Illusions Mega Box, and I usually don't get any kind of cards that, you know, are just like cardboard. I like the actual, like, plastic prism style of cards, but uh, yeah, I thought we'd take a stab at this. This was 60 bucks, and uh, I mean, if we get a CJ Stroud or something, it'll definitely be worth it. So anyway, the first item we are going to be opening is this Don Russ Basketball Pack, 30 cards per pack. I'm expecting a ton of base, but we should be getting some hollow pink laser parallels. Oh, these are the kind of junk packs that you can literally see the cards through. Do you guys see that? So these could have been felt and scanned already, but anyway, I got it at Target, so I doubt anybody does it in public. So we got base, we got base. We got base, 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 we got base. Actually just found out that I have a really good rookie of this guy, and uh it's worth some money because he's kind of a dog. Base. Base, base, base. John Morant, is he back in the league yet? <laughs> base, 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 base. Hopefully get into the rookies here soon. Jalen Green, Victor Oladipo, there's the first rookie. Tristan Vuksevic. Next up we got Anthony Black, the Magic. After that we've got Brandon Miller on the Hornets. Ooh, a backwards card. What? That's going to be nothing, right? Jalen Duran on the Pistons. And, uh, I mean, that's definitely some sort of rarity, but I don't know what, dude. After that, we've got a Great Expectations Nick Smith Jr. card. And ending is a Franchise Features Giannis Antetokounmpo. So now what I'm going to do, which is something I usually don't do because I'm a lazy bastard, is I'm going to go look up the values to this and edit this up real nice for you guys, and we'll find out if I made or lost money. And uh, to be honest, basketball, I have no idea because I was literally just looking for Wendy. So yeah, I'm sure as you guys can tell by the pricing that I should have put on this, uh, that one was just for the love of the hobby. We managed to scrape together $5.42 worth of sellable cards if you find the right person, which means we're coming up short a dollar. 58. Honestly, on a $7 pack, I feel like we should have done a lot worse than that, but still, I feel like we got nothing. All right, so we are back, uh, same day, just a little bit later at night, and we are going to do the next most expensive one, and that is the Panini Prism Football. I noticed my voice was still a little harsh in the last one, so I got to talk even less crazy. Like I said, this is four packs, and it was 24 something before tax. It's honestly not even a good deal. So there is the four packs. So first pack, we got Buddha Baker, Nick Bolton. They actually have sauce in quotations on his card. Ahmad Sauce Gardner and Kenny McIntosh rookie card. 
We got a little Mark Andrews from the Ravens, Zay Jones, Tyler Lockett, and ooh, we got something green. It is a Ramondre Stevenson Hype Green Cracked Ice Insert. Looks like we do have a silver here. Anyway, Logan Wilson, KJ Osborne, Tariq Woolen, and Tyson Campbell. Yuck. And just like that, we're on the last pack. T. Higgins, Justin Jefferson, Alan Lazard, and a Sean Clifford. Oh, I have like 10 of him. See what I mean when you say I get ripped off? Don't buy these, dude. They're trash. 25 bucks and you get garbage every time. All right, we're back. It is now Wednesday, and we are going to open the Don Russ WWE Elite. We also have Buxton here with us, which he is stuck in the room because, well, I gave him the option to leave, and he didn't want to. Who's a good boy? Anyway, uh, like I said, I'm, I'm not expecting anything out of this box. I think it's going to be kind of trash, but for 28 bucks, there's a chance I feel like we could get something. It's just with wrestling cards, like, what am I really looking for? You know, like, is there rookies? Do rookies really exist? Like, they did in the Panini series, but I'm not sure if they're worth anything. Or not Panini, sorry, the uh, Prism series. So, pack number one. Oh, I'm watching the Twins and the Brewers play right now. We're down 2 nothing. So, we got a Trish Stratus. Xavier Woods. Carmelo Hayes in Charlotte Flair. What, what was the rare card in here? I'm guessing this one? I ain't gonna lie, for four cards in a pack, these are terrible quality. Next pack. Ooh, we got a numbered Rick Boogs, who is no longer with the company. All right, 274 out of 275. And then we got a Joe Gacy, a Dragonoff, that is a refractor, and a Top Dollar. Maybe that wasn't a refractor. Oh, that is a uh, rookie card, by the way. Another guy who's not with the company. It's like Bianca Belair is the hit here. Powerhouses. Nikita Lyons. Kevin Owens. Austin Theory. Ooh, we got a Butch Pink. Bronson Reed. Maxine Dupree rookie card. And Shinsuke Nakamura. I'll tell you guys something right now. If you follow my Twitter and answer this question, I will send someone who answers it right this entire box of WWE cards because I don't want these. Who won the second ever Money in the Bank ladder match? Next pack. Stone Cold Steve Austin Spellbound. Andre Chase, Roxanne Perez, Dominic Mysterio. And the last pack. We got Scarlett, JD McDonough, Butch, and Tyler Bate. Like I said, answer the question on my Twitter. I will mail all these to someone. All right, we're back with the Pokemon Temporal Forces box now. I really hope we get something because this is going to be embarrassing to upload. I've gotten screwed. I like how they redid these bundles. I just think it's more sleek and clean. I kind of stopped collecting, honestly, when they switched to these silver borders, but like I said, this set, I, I, something just drew me in about it. We got Energy, Silosis, Skitty, Electabuzz, Bramblin, Bronzong, Ancient Booster, Iron Treads, Iron Jubilus. Oh, and we actually got something already. So the normal rare is a Wims Wimiscot, I don't know what the fuck that is, and the hit is an Eerie. That's actually sick, dude. I don't really like trainers all that much, but this one's really cool. I actually have to go get some sleeves for once. <sighs> Not a bad start. The thing that's nice about Pokemon cards, too, is actually all of them can sell because people will buy anything for deck building. It's just, you know, literal pennies. Energy, Pineco, Mawile, Metatite, what the hell? Turtonator? Artist was on peak with this one. Rivambi, Hand Trimmer, Rabaska. Bramblin' again. Oh, whoa. A Deerling. Uh, is this like a trainer gallery, dude? Dang. See, this is what I mean. If these cards are even worth, like, literally a dollar, I don't care. These are literally sick. And on to pack three. Energy, Giraffe Raid, Rosalia, Cutie Fly, Drillbur, Buddy Buddy Poffin, Zorora. Sharpedo, wow. See what I mean, dude? The art is just ridiculous. Explorer's Guidance, Sandy Shocks, and Roaring Moon, whoa. That's cool too, man. Metal Energy, Hoot Hoot, Beldum, Heatmore, Roly Coley, another Iron Jubilus, Full Metal Lab, Golurk, Rock Ruff, Ancient Boost, a Capsule, whatever. Oh, and we actually hit something else, too. What is this? Coridon EX. Okay, I mean, not my favorite. He's a newer one, but I, this is by far the best we've gotten out of anything we've pulled in this video. Two packs left. Energy, Reller, Ponyta, Chitat, Cottony, Metagross, Rose Raid, Exadrill, Shroomish, Zora, and no way, another hit. This is, oh, whoa! I mean, it looks like Suicune to me, but Walking Wake EX? Dude, this is sick! Oh my gosh, I might be back into Pokemon for good, dude. This is a blessed box. Another top load, easy, dude. This is a full art. 
Energy, Totodile, Deerling, the Dove, Pineco, Golurk, Shaman, Forestress, Ponyta again, then we got a Roaring Moon. And we're ending with a Drampo. Look at that art, dude. Maybe it's just because I'm a stoner, but I appreciate that. That is just sick. So the hits for this pack was Drampa, Walking Wake EX, love it, Coridon EX, Roaring Moon, a Deerling, uh, like a Secret Rare, I guess, 165 out of 162. I should probably top load that. And an Eerie. Regardless as to what the value matches up, I am extremely pleased with that. Okay, and we're now at the grand finale, the Illusions NFL Mega Box. And my spirits have been lifted considerably from that Pokemon box. I didn't even know I was going to make profit. Anyway, this is six packs per box, ten cards per pack. Like I said, I usually don't buy Illusions either. I just did this for the love of the hobby and for the sake of the video. Oh, these actually don't look too bad this year. So we got Sam Howell right into a Jameer Gibbs rookie card. Jake Hayner rookie. Joey B, Quentin Johnson rookie, Desmond Ritter, Jonathan Taylor and those ugly unis. Another Jake Hayner, this is an orange rookie. We have a King of Cards, Will Levis rookie card. That's sweet. And ending is a Zay Flowers amazing insert. We got Dallas Goddard, CD Lamb, that Dalton Kincaid rookie, nice. Clyde, there's a Will Levis rookie card. Hendon Hooker, Joe Mixon, I hate having to turn these, dude. Joe Burrow Orange. And a Devin Akane rookie card, Mystique. Oh, we got something thick in this pack. Herbie, Clayton Toon, Tank Dell rookie, nice. B Swift, Diggs, Harrison Butker, Ryan Tannehill, Quentin Johnston Orange rookie. Not too bad looking. Looks like a Luke Shoemaker on the patch. That's pretty ugly. And an Operation Detonation George Kittle. Got a little Hutch, Derek Carr. Jamar Chase, Kyler Murray, ooh, CJ Stroud rookie. I, these are just a little bit too common for me to be convinced they have value. I'm not going to lie. I want to be happier. I will look, though. Dak Prescott, Tua, Desmond Ritter, Orange, and a King of Cards, Derwin James. Pack four here, we got Josh Allen, Patrick Mahomes, Derrick Henry, Jared Goff, Ramondre Stevenson, Rashawn Johnson rookie, Michael Mayer rookie, Jonathan Taylor on the orange. We have a numbered out of 175 Rashawn Johnson rookie card. Dang, okay. And ending on a Zay Flowers shining star. The last pack, we got James Conner. Then we got a Zay Flowers rookie card, not too bad. Tank Bigsby rookie, Zach Charbonnet rookie, Marvin Mims rookie, Mike Gusecki, DJ Moore, Aiden O'Connell, rookie. Literally just looks like Derek Carr. Dallas Goddard on the orange, and we are ending with a Jordan Addison Mystique rookie. Okay, I, you know, like I said, man, I'm just really not sure if these are good or not. Like, these are base cards. These are rookie cards. I'm going to have to do some digging. Obviously, I'll have it displayed for you guys. And that is gonna be it, ladies and gentlemen, for the card opening video. I had a lot of fun making it, however, I, I can't say I'm gonna do this very often because as you can see, I lost quite a bit of money on it. So I think next time I do this to ensure that we're at least getting something back, uh, I'm going to just get quality cards. However, leave a comment, leave a like, turn notifications on. I try to post on this channel as often as I can, but I'm gonna get this edited. You're either gonna get it on Thursday or Saturday. Either way, take it easy and I'll see you in the next video.